well good day thank you for uh, watching the video so you clicked on the link so you're either one interested to come to Cape Verde at the Rue Palace and that's where we are in Boa Vista or just here for a little nosy but uh, this is our sixth time in Cape Verde uh, and I'll give you my honest view like I do on all my others you'll see all my others have been to Emilia Steen, has been to Rue Tureg, Rue Tortuga and now at the Rue Palace you can visit them uh, other videos by going onto the channel uh, and I'll give you my honest opinion on this hotel uh, like, like I like to do in all of them and tell you is it worth coming, is it a five star uh, and my little moans, my little gripes, if they're already uh, but some really good points which I'm sure there'll be plenty so let's have a look around the Rue Palace in Boa Vista So on the complex they have a Spartan gym. Uh, we've been in for two massages uh, over the week, and they've been absolutely, they've been good, really good. And I think you're all well aware that they can be a little bit expensive, but it is what it is on the hotels. But yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed them. There is a uh, gym in there, you can use that. Also there's a spa or a pool which you have to go in and book. Uh, but all in all, yeah, very enjoyable. So as you come out of the reception, you can see you've got this absolute beautiful walkway going right down to the, uh, the front of the beach. Uh, absolutely stunning when the sun's out. You know, we're talking 32 degrees at half past 10 in the morning and we're going in October. Absolutely brilliant. So uh, you've got a long walkway down to the beach and down here we have a little bar. Uh, little bar over there. Plenty of little boys, there's loads of little boys. Uh, now this, and then you've got the main entrance hall. Where everything goes, a lot of things goes on at night. So it's, it's a big venue where the main events are at night. And it's nice to come down and, and uh, yeah, it's easy. Some, some good entertainment on. And as you can see, Everything on Boa Vista that you need to know about. Uh, also, you can see they have an activity board which is digital. You can see what's on at night during the day. You can go to the doors, you can go to the aqua gym. Uh, you can also go to the body workout, crazy games, quite a few things there. Uh, so, there's something for everybody. It's quite a bit of yoga and uh, healthy minds and bodies. And, yeah, so if you just like to relax and do a little bit like that, it's good. So, there's plenty for everyone to go out. Here we have the Africa restaurant. Now this is the main restaurant where everyone uh, goes for breakfast and uh, lunch and dinner. There are other there are other little eating places like Saure restaurant, which is nice. But also in here, a very very clean and spotless. It's absolutely it's lovely, absolutely lovely. And then you have the main one, which is over here. If you go through the doors there, you'll see the main restaurant where a lot of people come to uh, but there's a lot of outside eating places as well the only thing I would say is in regards to East outside is there's quite a few flies in Boa Vista which can get a little bit annoying uh, but it is what it is you deal with it but it, I have to admit it's tidy clean and it's absolutely it's spotless now when you go on the all inclusives I think we all know uh, you know, there are certain restaurants you're allowed in now. There is a Japanese one which we've actually uh, we went to and it was lovely. I enjoyed that. You've got to book on when you come. Book on the Rui app, download the app, book it on for what nights you need to go on. So you've got the uh, steakhouse. We've not been to that. We're going to go that on Wednesday, which is our last night tomorrow. Uh, but the Japanese was lovely. Absolutely lovely. Uh, and there's, one, there's another one uh, which you can book on as well. But... I have to find the meat in the restaurants were, were really tender. Uh, the food in general at Buffet, uh, same as. You know, the salads are excellent. You can't go wrong with salads. If you're going wrong with salads, there's something wrong, isn't there? Uh, the meat was all right, uh, the lamb. Uh, I found the steaks a little bit tough in, in the Buffet restaurants. But obviously, in, in the proper restaurants, what you book on, they are a lot, lot better. But as you can see, the complex is absolutely spotless. As you look around, it's absolutely spotless. and. They look after the gardens, they've always got the gardens on. Uh, but I can't complain. 
feel a little bit foul, I spoiled. After going to the uh, Roy to, to, to Reg last February, uh, I didn't really rate that because they put it down as a five star and it wasn't a five star. Uh, look at the if you look at the reviews on TripAdvisor before you book any hotel, and that's what I usually do. And also, I make these little videos so people hopefully think it is an honest opinion. You, and, and sometimes when you, when you do, you know, have a little negative. If you look at my video on Ruth Reg, there's a few because they put it as a five star and it wasn't a five star. Uh, but the, all the comments that you do have are there to help people if they wish to go to the place of the destination which I'm videoing. Or they don't. Now, what I'm going to show you is when we came, we just had a room booked. Uh, standard room. The rooms are lovely, which I'll show you. But then, what we did do, we uh, we upgraded after the first night. We upgraded, and we got a little. Uh, see the ones behind us, and you have them in the pool. So they're the same rooms, but they have the, the, the swim up pool going to the room, and I think they were around about eight euros extra a night. Now, to me. Been a blessing I've never been in a pool as much in my life so if you can afford it you know split your week or a couple of nights but they're well worth it I never thought I'd actually be in a pool as much as I have done uh, but yeah it's been really really good uh, and if we come back which I'll tell you at the end of the video uh, I will be booking one of them definitely plenty of plants and I'll tell you what there's some lovely colours you'll always see them you know keeping it clean Grooming the plants, grooming them, clipping them. You groom a dog, you don't groom a plant. <laughs> but if we walk down, this is going to the front on the long walkway now, and it's, it's stunning to see, really. You will find out that Cape Verde is a, is a windy island. Uh, yeah, it's a windy island, you know, so the red flags are going to be out on the beach. Uh, so that's, that's telling you, or asking you not to go in. But, there are people in it. Now, if anything happens, it's their own fault. But there's no lifeguards rushing to get you out of the water. The advice is there, don't go in. Believe me, do it, because I did it. I went in, last time in Boa Vista, very deceiving, picked me up, smashed me on the bottom of the sandbed, do some damage, lucky I got away with it. But, you know, it's telling you there, basically, don't go in, it's a bit rough. So what we'll do now, I'll just, uh, we'll go around the, one of the pools now. And then you can see what it's all about. There's some beautiful little bars here, they're lovely. This is a little bar on the front where the main pool is. And I'll tell you what, it's so chilled in here. Let's have a walk through to the main pool. You've got two of these pools on the front, but they're not that far off the beach. Uh, but yeah, very nice. So we'll just walk the opposite way and you can see now we've got another pool. You've got two of these pools at the front, which are probably well, 200 yards off the front of the beach. But yeah, nice and chilled. The weather's absolutely glorious this time of year, September, October. Or the hottest months in Cape Verde of the year, down to about 32 degrees. Uh, if you come out, I'm say, oh, winter time in December, it drops down to about 24, but I don't think you can really grumble. But the weather in Cape Verde this time of year is absolutely brilliant. Uh, probably not going to show you enough of the hotel uh, on this video, but you know it's just a it's just a quick review on what I think of the hotel and it is good value for money and you know uh, yeah it's spotless, absolutely spotless. The food's good, the apartments are very clean and very very modern. Now that was my little gripe when I went to Rui Tareg. They had all the time of the lockdown to actually get it to a standard. Uh, and it was, it was very outdated and this was confirmed by people who would come back after lockdown and says they've done nothing with it and they're taking some serious money uh, or Thompson, first choice or two, whatever you call them now they're taking some serious money and people want value for money you know, they worked hard for it uh, but yeah we've been coming to Cape Verde for quite a few years now seven years, sick time here and I'm going to, the, the, the ones I raced the most with Melius doing this, we've been there three times and we're always a little bit, we went somewhere else and we actually thought, you know, it's going to take some beating. We've come to this place and it's not Melius doing the right off to a spot. So all I would say, you know, if you're looking for a relaxing oldie, 
Yeah, you're looking for a like, but you're speaking to me then. Uh, you're looking for a likes in old game value for money. Tell you what, Rui Palace, Boa Vista. Now, just alongside the Rui Palace is the Rui Ka Caramboa. Now, that's had a major uplift, uh, upgrade, uplift, refurb, whatever you want to call it. Uh, last November, now, I believe that is absolutely stunning. Now, you do get a chance on a Friday night to go over there because it is a Rui brand hotel and you can swap hotels and go for a drink. And we didn't do it for some reason. I think we were stuck in the middle at nine o'clock. Uh, so get yourself over there, it's absolutely it's supposed to be really good and it gives you a chance to actually uh, view it with Cambora as well so it's only a quick video because I left my camera stuff in the car at the airport uh, and I'm doing it on my phone uh, so for me would I come back to Rui Palace in Boa Vista? I would definitely come back to Rui Palace in Boa Vista and it's probably one of the Nice hotels I've been to since I've been come, come to Cape Verde, if not the nicest. Uh, so, based on a guy who does a little bit of travelling and has been to quite a few hotels and his travels, it's good value for money. If you get a chance and it's within your budget, please, please go and get your swim up pool. I'll show you the actual room when I when I get to. Uh, I'll show you our room when we get to the little swim up pool that we've we've got for for the rest of this day. Uh, well with the money any questions you want to ask you know please just, just send and i'll answer to the best as i can but uh yeah very nice probably not me least doing a softer toss spot i'll go back to the room now with a swim up pool and i'll show you eight euros extra if you value your luxury get it done all right you're only here once you can't take it with you all right we'll get back to the room and i'll show you the room just one thing i've got to tell people about is eating obviously you can eat all day here because one one closes down, one eating place, one opens up. And you do have a sports bar which opens 24 seven, serving alcohol, all having little cakes and snacks. So you're never, never gonna be hungry. Never gonna be hungry. And the standard food is very good after having it. I've been to some hotels and it's a bit ropey, but can grumble. We'll get to the room and I'll show you the room. So in the room, so you've got, they're all the same rooms, even in the blocks, and then, you see, Shelly, and I'll see you've got your little swimming pool, which is lovely, yeah, gets a little bit hot, you nip in, nip out, and I'll tell you what, it's been a godsend, so I'll just walk you around the room and see what you get then, you do get the good thing about it, You have some little free optics up here. There you go. And then fridge hasn't been filled up, but you get quite a you get corks and orange juice and still water. And they fill it up once every two days. Alright, so that's where you get in the room there. Plenty of wardrobe space. The other side opens up. And then in the bathroom, the bathroom's all then the, the shower is quite a size actually. Look at a shower there. It's like a steam room, there's that much room in it. There you have, here's an air sinks. I have to admit, the spotless. Cleaner comes around every day, makes your bed. So, hope you've enjoyed the video, get it booked, get away, you know what you're getting.